I believe everyone can make an impact to create a better world. My personal language of change is data illustration. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Merit, and I'm an information designer and data illustrator. I have collaborated with various clients from WeTransfer and the MIT Technology Review to Rain Corporation, United Nations. I also work on topics that are close to my heart, such as gender inequality, racial disparities, and climate change. My job is to give life to numbers and information, to capture the reality behind the charts, to make it meaningful to viewers in collage form or digital illustration. But it can be so much than that too. A well-made infographic can stop you in your track, make you think, and even make you feel. My ultimate goal is always the same, to connect with people and incite action about the biggest issues that we are facing today. In this domestic ed course, I will show you how to create captivating narratives through an empathetic data visualization that uses collage art and illustration. We will start by defining the difference between data visualization and data illustration. We will also hunt for visual inspiration, write our brief, and pick a creative direction for a design. Next, we will explore different chart tabs, sketch quick thumbnails, and gather images for collage. Once we've built a prototype, we can refine it. We will remove the background and clean up images and place them according to our composition plan. Then, we will add 3D elements and realistic details to make a visual more exciting. Finally, I will show you how to export your work for social media or print and prepare alternative text to make your piece more accessible. By the end of this course, you will have an illustration that is not only informative, but also eye-catching. You will gain access to a computer with Illustrator and Photoshop, as well as Excel or any other spreadsheet software. Basic knowledge of these programs would also be helpful. Grab your audience's attention and tell the stories that need to be heard.